In this video, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate your suit like a pro and all by yourself. Make sure the trackers are attached to the proper locations on the body. If you're curious to know where those locations are, please watch our tutorials on preparing the hardware on the Movello website. Once the hardware is connected and you've added all the necessary information into the motion capture configuration window, press OK and make sure the biomechanical model is live in the viewport by waving an arm. If you don't see any limbs moving, you don't have a proper hardware connection and therefore you cannot calibrate. The biomechanical model must be live to calibrate the suit. Once live, press the calibrate button, choose I calibrate myself for setting and end pose for calibration method. Press next. At the top, you will see the five step process for calibration. Set the delay you will need to get to your starting position, four seconds is plenty, and choose an audio option to play back instructions during calibration. For me, I like the audio cues only option because I think it's quickest. Press the start calibration button and listen carefully to the audio instructions. You'll be asked to stand in end pose for four seconds at your starting position. This is how you hold an end pose. Your feet are parallel and about one shoe width apart. Stand tall with your arms straight and at the sides of your body. Make sure your palms are facing inward and your shoulders are relaxed. Don't puff your chest out and stay neutral. For the move around portion of the calibration, you can walk around any way you like. You do not need to walk in a straight line and you do not need to end where you started. Having a natural swing to the arms is advised and walking at an average pace is best. During processing, begin to prepare yourself for standing still. When standing still, you do not have to be in the end pose, but you do need to be still. After MVN says stand still, the calibration will be applied and the status of the calibration will be displayed at the top of the viewport. If the calibration is poor, we recommend calibrating a second time. Ideally, you want to get a good calibration, but acceptable calibrations are okay too, especially if you're on a time crunch. Immediately after calibration, walk around for a few more seconds and sporadically bring your hands into prayer pose. The walking warms up the filters and the prayer pose improves the hand contacts. Finally, save your calibration and begin your capture session. Thanks so much for watching.